Hey everybody, welcome back to Gun Tote Minnesotan. This is the Sunray Photo T4040CS carbon fiber tripod. This is their most robust version of any tripod that they sell on the market right now. Obviously being a 4040, it is geared towards competition and hunting and especially mounting rifles. This right here is by no means my most expensive rig, but it's not cheap either. Uh, this is a CZ457 in the chassis and it's got a Zerotech Trace Advanced 4 to 24 Japanese model on top. So this is like a $3,500 setup and I do not mount stuff like this to weak or wimpy tripods or things that I think are going to fail or give out mechanisms that are unreliable. This right here has been a very, very tough and trustworthy tripod setup and I've been enjoying using it in competitions where I'm going to need to stress out some of the components a little bit and be a little aggressive on the rifle, the, big, or the uh, archer rail, and especially the ball head as I'm moving things around and quickly clamping in. I have a lot to say about it and I wanna show you a little bit how I've used it with some different rifles. One of the many advantages of a tripod, whether you're in a competition shooting from a shoot house or if you're hunting from some sort of indoor blind or position like that, is you can just be really comfortable and you don't have to support your rifle on a bag, on a windowsill. You can just sit in a chair like I am right here and be, you know, warm. First of all, it's winter. You can be warm and in position and get everything level and use it as some sort of camouflage as well. You're blended in if you're hunting for varmints or problem causers. Maybe you got rats going to your chicken coop or something like that. You can hunt from a window if you have a safe way to do that and essentially just leave your rifle in one position. You can kind of know your distances from one place. That's one thing I like about environment hunting from situations like this is I can just set up my tripod. If it's a place I regularly shoot, I know what height to get to and I know that my rifle is going to be incredibly stable, especially with this 4040. This is the most stable version of all the tripods that they have produced yet that I have used as far as um, an actual stand-up tripod or kneeling or sitting. Uh, you could even lay down with this one, I guess. This tripod does the most. It is the most versatile for the uses that I have anyways. But I really like it for this right here. This is fun. Let me go ahead and take a few shots here. Actually just kind of zeroing this rifle with a different lot of ammo. Not 100% sure where this is gonna go. Shooting on paper. And it helps to have a magazine in. I like to anyways. All right. Okay. Well, surprisingly, that landed where my other ammo also impacts. So that's pretty good. One thing that I did have to do, it's pretty minor, but it does happen on tripods. I've actually had it on multiple brands before. The um, I'm going to show you in a second. I'll take this off under the clamp. But the bolt that holds the clamp itself to the ball there, or the swivel, that sometimes needs to be blue loctited. I've had it back out on me a little bit a number of times with different tripods, different companies. It's a very small thing to do, but I just put a little loctite on there, especially going from hot to cold back and forth. I've noticed a lot of hardware works its way out and people who don't shoot in cold environments tend not to catch this or see this, especially people who shoot reviews really fast without actually giving something a good run through. And I have to end up loctiting everything. All the bolts I work with, everything has to get Loctited. So I don't think that's like a, a, a ding on the product even, just something that I noticed. I, I have a half inch group down there at 40 yards and I'm shooting off of this tripod with a new ammo. I'm pretty happy with the group actually and the, uh, so I'll say this, I'll say the precision and the accuracy, both of them. So it, it hit where it should hit 
and it also looks like a fairly tight group, half inch. So that's not quite a minute of angle, but I'm pretty okay with that because I'm shooting off of this tripod. And uh, in general, tripod shooting, I haven't found that I can keep sub MOA groups consistently, but I do ring them out sometimes. But right around, I don't know, one and a half MOA, something like that has been usually my capability until you start getting to further distances. And then it's a little iffy, just one, little you know nudge or influence the wrong way can uh, change your point of impact at those greater distances at a thousand yards when you've seen me shoot on my channel with sunway photo products at a thousand yards plus on steel you know i'm usually shooting on a two-thirds or full-size ipsic and that's you know definitely greater than a one moa target when i want to hit moa targets or smaller i really have to buckle down a shoot sitting on the uh, on the ground itself I usually have a bag under my knee. I do what I can, or I use complete free recoil. So with complete free recoil, um, even this, what I'm doing right now is a little too much. If I want consistency, if I want it to be completely free and I don't want to influence it at all, I will still hit my target. That has not been an issue for me, but I have to get off the gun as much as I can. Yeah, I went exactly where the other ones were. I had to prove that to myself a little bit. Um, with that free recoil right there, it's a very stable tripod, plenty of weight, and I'm only shooting a rimfire. Yep, it's going exactly where the other ones are. But you need a stable enough tripod and a light enough trigger to make that work. Usually a little bit of a heavier rifle. Works really good like this. And obviously plenty of range of travel for tracking with things here. If I have critters going left to right or something going up a tree like that, or I need to go down a little closer, lots of range of travel with this, uh, which makes it really great for hunting again. So here is the mechanism itself. The clamp on this is not a QD, it's a knob, and it's got plenty of range of travel. I don't have issues locking in my spotting scope, my camera, uh, pretty much every Arca piece that I have that I've tried, it's all fit in here just fine. And it doesn't have teeth the way that some Arca plates do, but it does have plenty of tension and I, I'm not concerned about things falling out of this. Range of travel has been decent. If you have an Arca uh, base or plate that's not perfectly milled or slightly out of spec or getting a little worn out, I think there's enough room here to still go ahead and grab onto that really tight and I feel that the materials that they're using here are gonna be sufficient for uh, holding up for a long time.
So I know that bigger isn't always better with tripods. Sometimes you want something ultra light or something smaller, lower profile. But a lot of times for me, you know, I'm kind of biased because I'm 6'5 and I shoot heavy rifles. I shoot big rifles out here a lot of times. When I have a 24 pound rifle with Arca that goes all the way back and I'm just a bigger frame person and I want something super steady. This is the kind of thing that I'm gonna get is the 4040. I have other tripods like the one that I'm filming on right now. This is a Sunray Photo uh, C3240 CSL. And so not everything that they have is mega overbuilt. I think you're gonna have to look at their website and decide if this is right for you. But if you're into hunting, competition shooting, or you have big heavy camera loads, or you need something that can flex like me, um, I need something that can flex into all sorts of different kind of roles and I want one tripod to carry around, have it in my car with me all the time. This is a really good tripod for that. Highly recommended, I like it a lot. The gear bag that it comes with is actually quite functional. I use mine pretty often to keep it, keep it out of the snow and make sure snow and moisture isn't getting uh, even on the legs where I'm gonna have expansion, it just gets obnoxious. But it's freezing, so I'm gonna let you guys know. I recommend it, I like it. Very good tripod, great job to Sunway Photo. The price point is extremely competitive.